guys, this is Ben back with you in the model shop and today we've made some big progress on our USS Independence and 1350 scale by Dragon. Uh, we finally have all of the machine guns, anti-aircraft guns, 5 inch guns are painted and assembled and they have their initial um, base coat of paint applied so we just have to do some finishing touches. Uh, I've actually started putting together the air wing got some information on that and I finished putting all of the uh, railing on uh, and decking on the ship and I've started doing some of the fine detailing. Pretty excited because um, the, the airplanes that came with the Dragon Kit are really good. Like they're they're pretty awesome. Um, they're not totally to scale in terms of the etching detail but they look fantastic. So anyway, we're going to take a look at everything that I have so far and uh, talk about what the next steps are going to be. And we're getting close to actually wrapping this ship up. I'm really, really pretty stoked about it. So uh, let's continue on here. We'll start off by taking a look at the guns. So here we go, guys and ladies, if any of you are watching. Uh, here are... All of our machine guns, all of our bofers and 5 inch guns and our crane, and over here we have the uh, directional finders. Uh, they all were assembled, they have their base coat on, I think, I think uh, we'll try and zoom in here, you guys already got a pretty good look at uh, these guns, uh, with their photo etch and everything. The next thing I put together were, I believe these are called directional finders for the uh, Bofors. I'll zoom in here. They're not too complicated, just two pieces. Everything needs to have a, uh, basically a wash done on them, I think is what I'm going to do next. Then here we have, I think they're just 50 caliber machine guns. Let those come to focus. Um, I'll let you look at those for a second. I was unable to do everything that the instructions wanted you to do because the instructions are ridiculous. Let's take a look at them. All right, so here we have the instructions. Um, basically, I was able to put the stand on, use the photo etch material for the, you know, the guard, and I mounted the gun itself. Uh, this is actually a piece of plastic, the ammo barrel. This is a sight, and you know these are the shoulder harnesses that you hang on to. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can actually. All right, I'll use my finger. See that little round thing? That's L5. Um, Here's a couple of the machine guns. They gave you a bunch of extra versions. Basically, I don't know if you can see here. I'll try and zoom in. Whoop. There it is. Okay, see how this machine gun just comes straight back? Maybe that's like a 50 caliber. I'm not really sure. On the other side of the sprue, I started to notice they have that little handle there. Uh, the Dragon's included two different types. I started with the other version and then switched to these when I when I had to become honest with myself about the fact that I wasn't going to be putting all of that extra detail on. Um, you know, they're teeny tiny. I'm going to paint them black. Whoops. Can't even get them to focus. I think they look good. I'm okay with them. They'll get a little wash and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put them on the ship. All right, here's the ship. We have all of our decking on. I'm going to try and uh, zoom in here, show you the detail without being too jerky. But as you can see, we have our railing in place. Uh, we'll pan here slow. I still haven't painted this part of the deck yet, uh, nor have I for that side over there. I have to do that with an airbrush to touch it up. But you can see we've got the railing there. We've got some rust going on. It continues all the way back 
to the back of the ship. Um, I had some trouble, had some trouble right in here um, with this netting. This is actually the netting the Dragon provided. This area where the, uh, I guess it's the landing officer stands, is from my my uh, Edward photo etch kit. That's it. Sorry about that. Um, that one is nice. This netting, though, the Edward version really made very little sense. I was having a hard time with it, so I ended up going with the uh, Dragon Kit piece. Um, you do see a brace right over there that is missing from this side. That's because it snapped off and disappeared. I'll stretch a piece of sprue, put it in there. You can actually make out a little hole right there where it's supposed to attach. So I'll go ahead and do that soon and we'll touch up. Um, did some Preliminary, like I said, weathering with some rust along the hull. The other side is a little more dramatic. I'll spin it around and show you that in a minute here. Uh, my thought was this ship was underway. You know, they would have worked on the things that they could have reached, but, you know, out to sea, it's still going to have... Um, it's still going to have some problems. It's still going to have some rust. So, and this is the shakedown version of the ship. So it wouldn't have been too dirty. Let's spin around and look at the other side. Alright, here we go. Starboard side. A little bit more rust. Uh, it's a little bit more pronounced. I did this with paint and a mixture of uh, art, artist uh, pastels that I ground up. Uh, this side's a little bit more intense. I'll probably go over it. Some paint. It, it needs to be lightened up. I think it's a little intense. But, you know, you're not going to be able to access these areas under the stacks very well. They're going to rust. They're hanging out over the ocean. So I tried to pick some areas that I thought uh, would see a little bit more wear and tear. I'm really happy with the stuff up there in the bow. Not so much on the anchor. I think that's a little too intense. So, anyway, we'll touch that up. But you're going to probably look at the model from, oh, I don't know, let's say the average person looks from this far away. I think it looks all right. Okay. So now, let's move on to the air wing situation. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, first thing first we're going to talk about is the uh, F4F Wildcats. I have purchased from Trumpeter the F4F Wildcat uh, Supplement Kit. There's 10 per box. I actually went out and bought a second box because I found out, thanks to the help of a gentleman on uh, the internet, Dry Dock Shipbuilders on Facebook, that during the shakedown configuration, um, VF-22 had 12 F4F Wildcats on board, 9 TBF Avengers, and 9 SBD Dive Bombers. The kit comes with 6 SBDs and 6 TBFs, and then it also comes with 6 Hellcats. Well, the Hellcats weren't until later. I'm doing the shakedown version. We needed Wildcats. So... I went ahead and assembled uh, one of them. It's rough. I haven't done the propeller yet. None of the decals are on. But that's what she looks like. I love the Wildcat. I think it's a great little airplane. Um, it comes molded in solid color plastics. Uh, I went ahead and did the white line straight through because remember that gear bay, I think you could see almost all the way through it. Did a light gray on the bottom. Haven't put the propeller on yet. Painted the canopy. Uh, looks okay. I didn't have the blue that I wanted, which uh, the instructions were calling for, and I think it was an intermediate or a gray blue. I couldn't find one anywhere, and I didn't have one anywhere. Uh, so what I ended up going with was intermediate blue. FS35164 
and that's what you end up with. I, I'm going to spray paint it instead of brushing it. I think it'll look okay. Um, my big concern was that it would end up looking funny on the ship if it was just some crazy color. So, as you can see, if we put it on there, it doesn't look too bad. I think we're going to go with that. We'll give it a wash. See, Dragon's pieces all come, everything's molded in clear, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay because they end up looking incredible. So I went ahead and put together first the, put one down here. This is the uh, SBD torpedo bomber. And it is in clear, the whole thing. Uh, you have the option to mold the canopy open or closed. The wings have to be in their full out position, but check out all that detail. I don't know if you can even see it. There you go. The radial engines, they've got each cylinder and then the uh, wiring that goes around it in there. It's nice and hollow. These are incredible little models in themselves. I'm super impressed. Look at that detail. Now the thing is, at this scale, you shouldn't probably be able to make it. next to my Wildcat. They're at a scale, um, but notice how you can't really see a whole lot of detail on the Wildcat. That's probably more accurate for this scale, but this looks great. Regardless, I don't care. It's going to look good, so we're going to go with those. Um, I did run into another problem. I did not have... I couldn't find the blue. I went to my model shop. I went to another model shop. Um, here we have painted. You can get an idea of what it looks like. This is an airbrush job. Uh, this is look at that. It's just one coat. Get and you know there are landing gear bays. We'll paint those green. The bomb mounts right there. It's got a tail hook, tail wheel. Uh, again, there's your radial engine. Actually, is a recessed area here for the flight deck. I mean, that's that's nice. Um, this is actually uh, a light. What color is it here? Light gray, United States Navy. I wanted something in scale that looked right for the earlier part of the years of the war. Uh, so I went with this light gray United States Navy just to give it a shot. Uh, it's supposed to be light blue. I don't have light blue, but I do have Lichtblau, which is German for light blue. Uh, so there it is, spray painted. i got to clean up some edges and things like that right there. Spray painted in light blue. Let's take a quick look here. Okay. So we have light blue and United States Navy light gray and this is Lick Blau uh, light blue I painted with a brush the first one I did and you can see I roughed in the bottom in white um, the Lick Blau, the light blue is just a hair darker it's a little bit more appropriate I wanted it washed out by the sun um, I wanted a light color like you see in the earlier Warriors. So that's that's the color I think I'm going to go with. Um, the Hellcat. So the Hellcat is an intermediate blue. I don't know. I think it looks okay. And I think this will look okay next to it darker. It needs to be a little bit darker. It looks a little too white uh, right now. And if I put the behind it, that's the light gray. That's definitely way lighter, so this one's better. But it's just, there's not enough blue in it, I don't think, yet. Um, but if we zoom out, you know, they, they kind of stick out like a sore thumb. So we have to work on that. Uh, we have to sort that color situation out. The uh, SBDs, look through the package here. I mean, that's the fuselage. That's really cool. That is really cool. 
Got your torpedoes, you got your doors. Um, there are the wings. Because the wings can actually be folded on the SBDs. Alright, anyway, next up, I'm going to keep working on the air wing, going to keep figuring out this color situation here. We'll put together the Wildcats, gazillion Wildcats. Um, the radar dish right there hasn't been installed yet. We're going to do that. Uh, we'll put together its photo etch and spray paint it. Then we got to put the guns in. I think I'm going to work on that pretty soon too. We're kind of getting to that stage. Uh, maybe, I think the only thing that will happen first is the deck, this area here that's darker gray, and over there, uh, I'm going to bust out the airbrush and, and, and merge that into the deck shade a little more appropriately. And then we'll give the guns a dry wash, especially the 5 inch guns that go on the bow and stern. Pick out the details and accents on the Bofors and the 50 calibers, and we'll put those in place. We're uh, getting close to having a ship here, fellas. Pretty excited about it. Alright, moving along.